Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. As mentioned earlier this morning, today is National HIV Testing Day, June 27th. And this morning, I have with me the Director of the HIV AIDS Coordinating Unit at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Ishad John, as well as the Technical Director of the National AIDS Coordinating Committee Secretariat, Dr. Ayana Sibru. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all doing this morning? I'm doing well. Good. Thank you. All right, tell me the importance of National HIV Testing Day. So National HIV Testing Day was established regionally somewhere around 2007 okay. um, as a regional program to support the increased awareness for people of the HIV status. So mm -hmm. it's a drive where we focus on testing. And the focus is mainly just to get people tested so the they know their status. The focus is getting on pe people getting tested so that they know their HIV status mm -hmm. because testing is the first part. So once you know your status, then you can proceed to enter into treatment. Okay. Uh, what is this year's theme? So this year's theme um, is take the test and take the next step. As Dr. Siru said, taking the test is the first step to knowing what your status is. Mm -hmm. And then once you know what, the what your status is, then you can proceed to if treatment is needed or not. So um, we are trying to encourage persons to take the test and to understand that we have multiple testing sites throughout Trinidad and Tobago, public testing sites, which are free to everyone. And you can access these sites during the week, during the week, some sites you may be able to access on a weekend and mm -hmm. some sites you may be able, able to access in evening hours. So we have a full list of our testing sites at www.health.gov.tt slash HACU, which is H-A-C-U. H-A-C-U, and yes. they, are, they are the full list of sites that you we can get tested. We have a full list of sites that you can get tested. I want you to break down for me what the testing process is like. For somebody who's watching and they've never done an HIV test, and they say, all right, so I see this now, today is National HIV Testing Day, but I'm still a little nervous about what, what does this test involve? Break it down for us. What do you have to do when you so go So I'm going to focus on the rapid test. The rapid test. I'm right. just going to focus on the rapid finger stick test that, right. we, that most people might be familiar with. You're going to an HIV testing site and someone is going to speak to you, interview mm -hmm. you, ask you questions in terms of what might have prompted you to come forward for this HIV test. And then during the testing period, they will just they will do a finger stick mm -hmm. and they will put some drops of the blood on the testing apparatus. <clears throat> and that we wait about 20 minutes mm -hmm. and then you'll get a result. Okay, so it's sim very similar to when you go to give blood, for example. They do that same finger stick and they drop it in a, I think it's like a... But yeah, when they check in your blood count. Yeah, yeah, so it's very similar to that. It's similar, but there's a little um, device mm -hmm. that they would put the blood in into a little well. Right. And that's where... And in 20 minutes, you know whether the HIV positive mm -hmm. or negative, right? For some people, they will also take a blood sample and send a blood sample to the lab as well. That's why, why they do the same test or after the result of the... After. Uh, so it depends on the result of the Not, device. So it, it so for some people, um, for like all the positives or one in ten, they will do that. Mm. Okay, very interesting. Tell me why it's important for people to know their HIV status. Oh, well, knowing your status is very important in terms of your wellness and your health. Mm -hmm. um, if you are aware of what your HIV status is, then if it is positive status, you're able to do something about it, as opposed to not being able to do anything about it. The fact is that a lot of persons would have died from HIV because they weren't aware of their status. Mm -hmm. And by the time they became aware of that, it was much too late for anything to be done. Yeah. But this is not the case anymore. Um, back. In the, back in the day, we, there wasn't medication, sufficient medication, there wasn't free medication to persons accessible. to take that next step. It yeah. wasn't accessible. But now, once you are tested, and if you are deemed positive, you have a reactive test, there is treatment available throughout Trinidad and Tobago at our, or throughout all of our RHAs. Yeah. And so this, this, this treatment is free to everybody in the public. And usually it's usually just like one tablet a day for the majority of pe persons. Sometimes it may be two tablets, it may be more. Yeah. But the majority of persons usually tend to just have to take one tablet a day. And once you know your status and you're able to start medication, take medication, persons who are pos living positively with HIV can live positively. Mm -hmm. They can do everything that other persons who are HIV negative can do. They can have children, they can marry, you can travel. All just depends on you accessing care, which is quite accessible here in Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. and maintaining your adherence on the, uh, the medication that is given. 
So this leads me now to the, the campaign that you guys have been on, which is U equals U. Undetectable yes. equals untransmittable. Yes. Break that down for me, because basically you're telling me that if we take this medication on a, however they schedule it for you to take it on a regular basis, that you would become undetectable? So once you take your medication properly, mm -hmm. um, so you go in, you have your, your clinic appointment, your doctors will do all their background work, but once you take your medication properly, the mm -hmm. prescribed medication that is for you, then you can achieve an undetectable status in about six months okay. once you are doing your part. But it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you no longer have HIV. It, it just means that mean, you can't detect no. it on a test. So yeah. when you when you so we we look for different things. So we would look to see how much virus is in the blood. Mm -hmm. So it means that we wouldn't be able to detect the virus in the blood if we're if we're looking for the virus. You will still test HIV positive. Right using a uh, finger stick test. You will okay. still test positive. But where we look for control of disease, undetectable is our goal, to get the virus to be undetectable. Okay. So we, we're controlling the virus. So I, I just, sorry, I'm trying to understand exactly what, so when you go for the test, mm -hmm. regardless, so, so if I don't know my status now, when I go for the test and I get tested positive, mm -hmm. and then, for example, I'm one of the people that they take blood from, is that they will test that blood for the viral load. So... So two things. In the first instance, um, there is a quality assurance process behind it. Right. And so we um, normally we would check all the positives and we would also check in between to just that's our quality assurance right. process. But beyond that, when somebody goes to a uh, testing, a treatment site, mm -hmm. blood will be taken. They will check for the level of the immune system. They will mm -hmm. check for the viral load as well. Okay. So this, this undetectable, untraceable thing means that you can go about your life normal once you continue to take... Once you take your medication and your follow-up to, to make sure that you maintain your undetectable status. And at what point do you, do you realize that it's undete undetectable? Do you constantly have to do tests? You always have to test, yes. How yes. often? We try to encourage um, having a viral load test done at least every six months okay. um, so that we can make sure that you're maintaining that undetectable status because it's not undetectable once and you're undetectable always, always. It, it's okay. dependent on your being adherent on taking your medication ah. every day so if just to break it down a little bit so think of your body as a tree and the tree is producing leaves every day so mm -hmm. the virus is being made every day more and more viruses every day so that's the tree producing the leaves if you just let the tree produce the leaves overgrow the yard, will, over the yard mm -hmm. right but if every day you come and you take a leaf blow or you take a broom and you move you sweep the leaves away then you have basically just the leaves that you have in every day to get rid of and it's yeah. not going to over um overgrow the yard so it's the same way with the medication so the body is producing the virus on a daily basis but if you're taking the medication every day the medication is your leaf blower um, to, to help keep that virus in the body low so like that's that why analogy. it's so important to take the medication every day yeah that's nice and nice and very clear how can people who, who already know their status how can they access this sort of uh treatment they can go to any of the treatment sites in the regional health authorities and present um, with a referral letter for the result of their test, and then they would be entered into treatment, and they would be started on treatment almost immediately. Okay, that's and, fantastic. Go ahead. And we do have an HIV helpline, um, which number is? 800-4448. 800-4448. Yes, 800-4HIV. Ah, yes. okay. Fantastic. Well, um, ladies, I want to thank you all so very much for joining us this morning. And thank of course, you. today being National HIV Testing Day, I want to encourage each and every one of you to head across to the Ministry of Health.gov.tt slash HACU. H A C U. And you can check out to see where you can go to get your HIV test done today and know your status. It's very, very important and crucial that you know so that you can act if necessary. Yeah? Thank you, Thank you so much for, for having us this morning. Let's take a quick break and come back with more inside the Now Morning Show. Stick around. Downtown.